Well, hello there. My name is Susan Hamilton and you're watching OBBM Live Special DFW Local Business Interviews. Today I'm talking with William Morton. How you doing? Excellent. You're as good as can be under the circumstances. <laughs> under the circumstances because with William Morton uh, visuals, you're a little bit limited about what you can do. You really depend on that face-to-face -face and uh, human interaction for the things you're doing even with your headshot business. Absolutely. I've been trying to find people that need to update their LinkedIn photo with a picture of them wearing a mask because I think that could be a potential untapped market. <laughs> but uh, so far, I'm just not getting any bites on that marketing. Yeah, it's not the most glamorous. I think we're all kind of hoping that we forget this and it goes away. I would say so. Yuck. So how has it impacted your business? Because this series is all about consumer confidence and helping them see how our businesses are adapting and, and rising to the challenges of shelter in place. What are some of the things you've had to accommodate uh, so that you can maintain a livelihood? Uh, fortunately, a little bit of savings is uh, carrying me at the moment. But obviously with photography, and especially if you're a people shooter uh, or a people photographer, I should probably people rephrase shooter. that. People, right? <laughs> um, it's very difficult to do without people. So starting a little bit more of a product photography portfolio, but in terms of uh, photographing people, no one wants to go out and risk it. No one wants to book headshots. No one wants to do any type of work like that. Plus the stay-at-home orders, you're not supposed to do that anyway. So it's uh, pretty well shut down, just like uh, hairstylists and barbers, and they've been shut down, and it's the exact same thing here. Well, it's going to be lifting, and I really believe we're going to see a huge, huge shift in the marketplace because they want to get this stuff done as bad as you want to do it. And so. they do. They're hungry, and they need to know who to count on when it's time to go, when, when – that line is lifted. I know everybody wants to talk gradual, but let's face it. We know how consumers are every Christmas, <laughs> right? We know how the marketplace is very much when, when it's go time, they want in, they want in and they're going to want to, yes, I, we've got a lot of hurting people in our community. Uh, but in the business sector, we know we need to have uh, updated headshots. I think that's going to be huge because we have to, reinvent ourselves we want to look new we want to come back out of this feeling new representing ourselves new so we can really serve a lot of the hurting communities because everybody gets blue i think when you're isolated i i totally agree and i see a lot of business shifts coming as a result of this a lot of companies are learning that telecommuting can work from for a lot of businesses um, i think a lot of the office space is going to start to pare down as they allow more people to work from home. Uh, certain things you can do that. I mean, the only way I can do headshots from here is via Skype or something or Zoom and hit the print screen button. And that's just not gonna be the same thing as coming in the studio with professional lighting. And, oh, absolutely um, not. We, we experienced that, William, with our media company. We have to change so many of the things we can do. We just took television production right off until we can get back into studio and went right into podcasts. And then of course the whole, how, how do you get the images for it? Like you're saying, we have to accommodate these uh, Zoom gallery view images so that we can still have a semblance of a brand. Exactly. And it, as long as this is going to be the image that people have of us, I think that kind of reinforces the need for a really good headshot. We're not going to be meeting as much in person. So I think that representation is going to be strong. And I know that as businesses start back up, marketing is going to become critical. Uh, we've changed our habits. We've changed a lot of things about the way we're doing business. Absolutely. And businesses do, like you said, have to reinvent themselves a little bit. And I think that they need to think about how they want to communicate that message out to their customers and their potential customers. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And they need to see us active because when, when it's go time, they're going to want to get out there and you know who they're going to work with? The people they're familiar with, the people that hung in there and stayed going 
the, and, and the positive attitudes and the people that could add some humor to it. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about you, William, and so does everybody. You're such a nut. Uh, you really help people to just be at ease. You know, if, it, uh, if any, anybody watching this doesn't know that uh, Morton Visuals, our William Morton right here, did my headshots, did the, our, the OBBM team. I mean, you made us look fabulous, and I'm so grateful for that. Uh, it, that were a, were a challenge too. <laughs> you, it wasn't short. You took your time and had us at ease, and and it was really really a fun experience working with you. Well, I appreciate that. I, I do try to make it at least better than a trip to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> That's my default standard right there. So I don't want people to think about getting headshots as like going in for root canal. No. It can be enjoyable. Um, I'm going to do my best to make sure you look fabulous and hopefully people are going to enjoy that and uh, you know oh and I yeah. always look at mine and I go I'm really glad because you know how to doctor them well yeah I look a lot better in my profile pic that's because William <laughs> you'll have to come in again everyone's going to have a new look after being quarantined for this long you know, no doubt long. no doubt you have Maybe to photograph style, my TV side something a little more modern and we'll do something fun yeah. So the thing of it is, though, you, you didn't limit yourself to that. You didn't. And, and I understand uh, we need to keep the, the focus on that, those headshots because we are going to have to reinvent ourselves and get back out there. But you really did reinvent yourself right now. You found a way to accommodate the marketplace and showcase your skills doing product photography. That's brilliant. How does that work when you are doing these things through Zoom and uh, remotely like this? Well, I, I can work on something like products on my own on kitchen tabletop or wherever. Um, so that gives me the ability to do something productive while I'm locked down, so to speak. Um, but it's also something that people sell products. They manufacture goods, they're resellers. Um, they want to show off the latest and greatest. There's a couple of manufacturers here in Dallas that I've had the opportunity to work with. And... Um, like I said, they need to market to sell their products. So they want something that really sells the product, not just a widget on white, but something that really makes it look glamorous, maybe even sexy, uh, makes people want it. So that's so, what I get to play with. Any tips on that when we're thinking about, I mean, give us an idea of something maybe we're not considering that would be a, a really great uh, product placement, something that we could be featuring. Nowadays, it seems to be masks are what you're seeing everywhere. Gosh. So that's why I was, no. that's why I made a joke about a headshot with a mask on. <laughs> um, but products would be related to your business. So it could be anything from if, if, you, uh, if you're a liquor store, your business is booming right now. Um, that's what I played with some liquor bottles the other day, just because we obviously stocked up for the quarantine. So I've got beautiful and open bottles to play with. Let's Do you want to show them? Do you want to show um, a couple? I can, sure, I can show those. If I go to screen share. Let's see, friends, this is great for you too, to be able to work with your photographer like this and be able to see the work, uh, even working virtually, I think that's great. That's a quite classy bottle of Crown you've got there. Absolutely, so glassware is challenging, um, just like people can be challenging, uh, glassware, translucent, transparent, reflective, all those fun challenges. Uh, so those are the type of things that you can play with pretty much anywhere. If you're a restaurant, you know, you've got food, you've got drinks, you mm. may have uh, the cocktails that you're selling, different things going on there. Uh, I've shot some stuff with the House of Blues um, about a year ago for some of their specialty drinks. So they're all part of what they're offering. They wanna make it look inviting and appealing. And that's what I want to try to help them with. That's good. I saw a lot of restaurants are, have altered their menu to accommodate a smaller menu. Well, that all means you have to rethink it a little bit. Maybe you have more space to showcase the fewer items that you have and can maybe do it a little more tastefully. Uh, and I hear you saying that, hey, that's a, that's a smart thing to be looking at. A lot of new menus uh, with the restaurants trying to cater more to the carry out crowd. Mm -hmm. They are marketing different dishes. So obviously you wanna see a picture of the food that really looks enticing, but you know, the specialty drinks, the quarantini, which has gotten to be so popular now. Uh, those are the type of things that if you wanna sell them, you need to show them because no one's gonna buy them if they can't see them. That's true. Because right now I'm thinking you're saying quarantini and I've heard that phrase before, but I haven't seen one and it makes me go, 
doesn't sound like num num. <laughs> it sounds like no, no. You need a picture associated with that. The, the quarantini is just to take off on a martini, but sure. they use vitamin C to, on the glass rim. Brilliant. <laughs> have you tried one of these quarantines? I have not. Yes. Because it doesn't make you go, God, I can't wait to have one. See, we got to, that needs a picture. <laughs> that needs to, that's an example of one of those drinks that has to just dress up a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, I've got to find the right glassware for that too, though. <laughs> true enough. True enough with, with your mask, with your mask. Absolutely. So um, what are some of the ways that we can uh, think about working with you right now so that when, you know, I, as you know, many people that get tight with their business they drop marketing and uh, those of us in the creative space we know that we've experienced that uh but the ones that shoot ahead are always the ones that that continued with their marketing and actually increased their marketing that's that's data friends that's the truth and it's basically because of what we mentioned earlier if they're if they see you during this time and you spend your time refining oh wow what does the market need to hear from me right now what do they need to know about me right now uh, then you're going to be, you're going to position yourself well, and you'll be the authority in the space. So we know that, but what are some of those things that we, when we're thinking about photography, that could really enhance us going forward and working with you? Well, an updated headshot, uh, we can go ahead and book sessions in the future because we know that this will end at some point. They're saying, I believe, May 15th now for Dallas. Um, but I'm not positive if it's the 30th or the 15th. It just right, or even if it'll hold, right? In debate. Yeah. Uh, but people can go ahead and book sessions. They can make those plans. I do know a lot of people are going to be prioritizing getting to their hairstylist first and then coming in for their headshots. So we're going to have a little progression there with timing. Uh, but you can start thinking about that. I, I would encourage businesses to start thinking about uh, how do they get their faces back out there when they're open back up again? to show people what's new, what's changed, what's different. Um, they may have new personnel that they've brought in. A lot of Ooh, companies yeah. are hiring right now. Uh, they, may need, they need to show off those folks so people can put a face to the business. And I think that makes it a lot easier to do business when you can visualize a person you're talking to on the phone or, or emailing or whatever. Uh, and then just the marketing that you're gonna wanna do to start spurring business back in. Uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit of a slow takeoff when it opens up. Uh, I'd like to encourage people to go ahead and start patronizing, especially the small businesses that struggle. Um, the huge chains, uh, a lot of controversy about them getting uh, the bailout money. Um, really, I don't think they need it as much as those smaller mom and pops and those small sure businesses do. Uh, I'd like to try to encourage people to shop with those small businesses. They're the ones that really, really need that. They do. And to Again, there's a consumer confidence piece of that. Uh, when they see you not skipping a beat, taking new, like you're saying, rebirthing yourself, rebirthing your brand and your business and that, and that, and that almost the brand, I'm not talking about the logo and the color and all of that, but just a new look, updating everything, right? Um, they, that gives them confidence because they see that you stay there and, and people are more likely to work with a company that's actually doing something well uh, and it, that is maintaining that's coming through this. Chances are they're not going to be rushing out to the failing business and uh, you and I both wish that they would, that we, that we would, but the natural thing is we're going to go to things that look successful those are the types of things that we want. So it's important to, to, to be able to showcase that in your marketing. Let me ask you about those headshots though, William. Are you going to be booking them over at Camera Ready Studios? Absolutely. We do location or studio. It's obviously easier and less expensive to come into the studio. But I can go to someone's office, set up in a conference room, and photograph the entire staff in one fell swoop. Well, I really love it over there at Camera Ready Studios. You've got all those spaces that make it really comfortable and all the different uh, backdrops that you can use, but you also have all the makeup and changing areas. You make it really convenient for somebody who knows that's, that's exactly what they're doing. They're going in specifically to have their pictures taken. And you've got all the, the, the makeup studios still there? Absolutely. I mean, and got, we're, uh, we've started offering a new VIP executive portrait session uh, and we are looking at introducing an added element to that. The VIP is simply more time, more clothing changes, and professional hair and makeup artists to make you look perfect. But uh, we're also looking at adding in a writer concept so that they can update your bio 
uh, help you write your bio. So you can have a full PR package ready to go. Images, bio write up, um, whatever you need from there. Do that and then come talk to me and we'll put that all together in this most awesome podcast for you and a Absolutely. perfect brand to get your message out. That's brilliant. I love that. You've thought of everything. We're trying. <laughs> What's the best way for people to reach out and work with you and get those things scheduled? Uh, website, mortonvisuals.com, uh, toll free number 888-239-6213. Uh, Morton Visuals is easy to find on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Excellent. So you are not, and, and you know, if I, if I may, I'm just going to plug a little farmer's branch chamber going on over there because they, that what a warm and wonderful group. And I really appreciate that you invited me uh, to start participating and then connected me with people. Uh, what a joy, what a huge group of friends. I feel like I've, I've had since that relationship happened. You're very active with the farmer's branch chamber. You're taking those pictures all the time. Uh, it's one of the reasons we look so good over there because William's doing that. And uh, you're also, uh, I believe you're on the board, right? I am on the board for the chamber. Uh, I also serve as president for my local trade organization, the media and publication photographers. So I try to stay busy enough to keep out of trouble. <laughs> well, that's best because we don't need you getting in any trouble. <laughs> no, we do not. All right, William. Well, we're going to have your contact information accompanying this video and we'll get this out. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today and letting us Thank know. Thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate all that you're doing for the small business community. You're helping businesses that really need it and need that expertise. And I'm very appreciative for all the work that you're doing for those local businesses. Thank you so much, William. I appreciate that. All right, friends. Uh, now, look, have you scheduled yours? You know, I'm doing this during the shelter in place, and we really all want it over. But if you have not scheduled your interview with me, you need to go back to the Offbeat Business Show page and click in the link under the banner. You can take you right over to the link where you can schedule your own interview with us as well. Can't wait to talk with you and find out how you're rising to the challenges of shelter in place. Till next time, Susan Hamilton, OBBM Live. Thanks, William. Thank you.